uh, so the second plugin I'm going to talk uh, talk about today uh, is uh, the Features by Woo Themes, which is a great little plugin. Um, it's well supported. It's updated on a regular basis. They do have some issues every now and then if they update it, sort of screws up some people's websites, but they're getting better. But basically, what it allows you to do is it allows you to build a set of features, and you can put that widget on the home page on your sidebar. You can even integrate it within posts and pages. There's a lot of support documentation for it. Um, uh, it's very easy to install. Um, you can actually in, have it inside your theme, or you can just use short, short codes or the, or the widgets, okay? Um, it, you can see here it's been up, updated on a regular basis. Uh, it's a good plugin. So let's just jump right into it, okay? So basically, uh, I've activated there, um, and then when, once you activate it, you'll see uh, this section here, okay? Um, so I'm going to add a new one. You can put features into categories. Now I use the categories, for instance, I might, I might create a home category um, if I'm using a Woo theme, and then it usually just works out of the box beautifully with the Woo theme. But you're going to find that it might look a little bit tacky in some areas on your site because it's not built for that site. But it's a very simple plugin, and let's go through some of the features. So basically, you, I've created a category called Sidebar, and there's the feature number one, okay, and I put a little bit of text in there, it's just junk text at the moment. I can also link that feature. So the feature when you create it will actually create a page or a post a post of that feature, but you want it to, you, the, the reason for the features is to say, this is the features of our business, uh, click on the image or the title and it goes to a page. So the feature might be our services, our products, our, our location, contact us, you know. Um, and I create categories because it's just easier to manage. Okay, so you have the title, you have a short description, not too much. You can put some, uh, you can put a link in the description uh, and stuff like that. It's up to you how you do that. Um, and you can have the order that you want. That uh, unfortunately, Woo does it the opposite way that WordPress does it. So the higher the order, the higher it appears. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Okay, so and let's put an image with that. I. I created an image just a, a little while ago. Uh, I think that's the one. I hope it is. It should be a very small image. Yeah, 200 by 34. Um, you can put an icon with it. You can do whatever you like. Again, it might need a little bit of styling. So I've created that, that feature, and I'm just going to publish that. So you'll see I've got the title, a bit of description, where the image and the title links to. Uh, I've created a category for it, and I've created an attribute, attribute for it. You can also do the keywords to, with the SEO by Yoast as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use the widget. Okay, so you'll see that uh, once I've created it, I've got a features widget. So I'm going to put this feature in here. I'm going to say the title is site, uh, our features. Okay, because I've only created one, I'm just going to say one. I'll put the image at 200 pixels. I want it to be uh, items per row one. And then, then you can, if you've got like multiple, you can specify how it's ordered. You can have it random, so every time the page loads, a different, it, it loads in a different order. But there's a lot of different things you can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. And then we're going to have a look at the website. I might have to play around with this a little bit. Okay, but there you see, there it is, our features, feature one. So if I click on that, the title, it'll go to the page. That's, uh, it'll go, actually, it'll go to my website. I'll get rid go back again. But you'll see how that feature works. So it's quite nice, yeah, working out of the box straight away. Okay, but again, with the different themes, it might look a little bit different. All the image size does in the, uh, in the, in the feature, it dictates the width of the image. So if your image is long, it'll still be long. It should, should still be long. It st should still. It just, you just have to work out what the, the, the width of your uh, sidebar is. Some sidebars with some themes automatically scale it, so it can't be larger than a certain size anyway. But you might find you need a little bit of work to do. But it's a great little plugin, um, and, and it's a valuable little plugin for a lot of people. That's why it's got 60 something thousand uh, downloads. It's a very popular plugin, and it can be used with pretty much any theme. Okay? Some people are not happy with it, as you can see here, but you know, that's probably more so their problem than the, than the developer's problem. So that's the features by WooThemes.